What's up guys, this is your girl Lady Still coming at you with another video, boy oh boy. After the Steelers start 11-0 and, and we secured a playoff spot, we absolutely get steamrolled at home by our division rival, the Cleveland Browns, 49-37. to I must say, absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. This team is disgraceful. This effort is disgraceful. I've never seen a, one of the worst, worst displays I've ever seen by this team. Worst Steeler game I've ever seen. Absolutely disgraceful. But before I get in, I want to give a huge shout out again to the Cleveland Browns. Crazy Dog, Rusty Lake. Rudy G. Funk, your team came to play, and your team came to win, and that's exactly what y'all did. And I'm not going to sit there and uh, not give credit to where it's due, because at the end of the day, y'all killed it. So as a Steeler fan, I'm going to say congratulations, and I'm going to give credit to where it's due. And that's all I really have to say on that match. Congratulations to the Cleveland Brown fans and their organization, their franchise. After years and years of sucking, you guys finally, you know, have a good season. So congratulations to that. So on to this damn game. We just made too many mistakes. You will not win the game when your team has five turnovers. It's just that simple. Roethlisberger throwing interceptions. Pounces, old washed up self, snapping the ball very high, causing a turnover and them scoring. That bad snap set a tone for this game, and it just went downhill. Pouncey, I'm going to get on you too. I'm going to get on that ass. Over snapping the ball, under snapping. You, you, getting pushed around. Pouncy. They, they did not lie when they said that the O line is soft. The O line is soft. It's old. It's garbage. It's washed the hell up. And it's time for a whole revamp on that O line because that O line is absolute garbage. Listen, when I found when it was announced. That uh, Filer was starting over Dotson. I knew that we were in some deep trouble. David DeCastro getting pushed around by uh, the defensive end. The, even, the defensive end gets his hands up, tips the ball, and uh, the Browns intercepted. Roethlisberger, that was an absolute disgraceful game that you had. And I must say, Roethlisberger... I love you and everything. You did so much for this franchise. Won us two Super Bowls. But Roethlisberger, it's time for you to hang up the cleats, homie. Time for you to hang up the cleats. You just don't you just don't have it anymore. The injuries that you've sustained throughout your career, elbow surgery, it's just it, it's just your time, man. I do want to thank Roethlisberger for everything that you did for this franchise. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's time for you to go. And we have to move on. Uh, this defense, this defense absolutely got steamrolled, too. Our linebackers couldn't cover and tackle for worth a damn. Our defensive line didn't get enough penetration. Our secondary played like absolute garbage. Terrell Edmonds is absolute garbage. And he played like absolute garbage. Like, come on now. And it's again. I hate to uh get on Juju Smith-Schuster because, you know, Juju, you had a good game. But at the end of the day, we lost, buddy. And you said some things in the media that probably could would have uh lit the fire in the Browns' asses. The Browns will be the Browns. Now, even though that was taken out of context, you should have known and you should have not allowed yourself to be set up to talk crap in some type of crap in the media only for you to not back it up. You should know better than that. Other way, this team played, like I said, this team played absolutely disgraceful in this offseason. 
We have a lot of work to do, and we're going to have to make some tough decisions when it comes to these players and when it comes to these coaches. You see, the Steelers always had this philosophy of loyalness of or loyalty, but it's going to it's going to uh have to come down to some type of decisions that we have to make. And I must say, as hard as this sounds, we probably might have to let Roethlisberger retire. Probably going to have to get rid of a coach, Randy Fittner. We got to do what's best for this organization moving forward. And if that's letting go of the past, then so be it. We got to focus on the future. We're so busy uh, trying to accommodate to Roethlisberger that we didn't realize we were absolutely destroying our future in the future of this franchise. I love Roethlisberger and everything, but it's time for him to retire. Four interceptions. It's 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 just at this point you gotta hang up the cleats, buddy. Gotta hang up the cleats. Um, and also I wanna uh, point out that I don't hear a lot of people talking about this, but over the recent years, the Steelers have completely lost their identity. The identity of the Pittsburgh Steelers have always been Smash Mouth football, Smash Mouth defense, and Smash Mouth running game. We lost like half of our identity. We are dead last when it came to running. And that's what the Steelers are known for, running back by committee, and we didn't even have that. Steelers lost half of our identity, and that's probably the reason why it all came crashing down. But I will be diving more into uh, the Steelers and and their identity in an upcoming video. But um, like I said, I'm going to give a huge shout out to the uh, Cleveland Browns. You guys did it. And I have to show my respects. You know, I I I can't can't be a sore sport. Can't be really mad about it. At the end of the day, we have a lot of work to do. And that's just it. But anyway, shout out to my Steelers. You know, rough into the season. But I do believe you guys will make the necessary moves in the offseason. And uh, I got two words for this organization. Najee Harris, baby. Najee Harris. That's all I got to (laughs) say. But anyway, shout out to the Renegades of Pittsburgh, the Steel City Disciples, Steel Maiden, Eric of Steel, Renegade 412, Leedy, Bruin Steel, the OG Mac Main, Steel Twins, Steel Jedi, Yens Nation Sport. You know, it's a rough end of the season, but I must say, uh, I will always... Rep the black and gold. Till next season. See you guys later. I'm out. Go Steelers. Even though y'all, y'all got y'all asses kicked, I still bleed black and gold. But anyway, this is your girl lady still. I'm out of here. Let's go Steelers. Peace.